This is Noah Waddell, an accomplished 15-year-old classical pianist. Noah lives with his parents in Fort Myers, Florida. He started playing at age seven and is well on his way to realizing his dream of performing in concert on the great stages of the world. Noah is performing this evening with the Southwest Florida Symphony under the direction of Maestro Nir Cabaretti. I've been, you know, in this business, it comes uh, quite often that you hear people in a very young age uh, playing so incredibly, so advanced at a very young age. And this is really part of the career. If you look at uh, the, most of the musicians who made it into a solistic uh, career, at the age of 14, 15, they already play with orchestra. They are so when I saw Noah and, and, and the repertoire that he played at that young age, I knew that exactly one of those uh, you know, talents. out to him and asked if he would like to play with us a, a chamber con concerto. And last time I was the one to sort of tell him I would like you to play something. This time I wanted him to choose. So he did. This uh, Haydn concerto was his choice and it's a, it's a beautiful piece. I'm very glad that we had the chance to do it. Because he plays so well at a young age, people often ask Noah how he got started playing classical piano. My piano life started when I was seven years old when my parents walked into a piano store on my birthday and bought a piano on a whim. Noah spends about four hours each day in practice at home. In addition, he attends school and weekly piano lessons. He is in constant demand to perform and compete all over the country. His parents are supporting his effort and want to make sure that Noah has balance in all aspects of his life. He understands that this is something that is a gift, and so he, we've tried to pr really provide a normal childhood for him and give him the balance uh, that a normal uh, kid would have. What is important for Noah is at that age also to witness other things that kids, or I would say young men in this age, also experience. I think dedicating his, his life to the music is, is, is important and beautiful, but at the same time not to miss these years of uh, youth. Over the past six years, 
Noah has won numerous awards and competitions. In a span of just five years, he has achieved national and international recognition. This has created many opportunities for him to perform as a soloist and in concerto. Noah's parents were very surprised when Noah entered and won his very first competition since they themselves have no musical background. When I was nine years old, I won the Steinway competition. Well, we were quite surprised and we're like, really? So we really didn't know what to do with somebody that talented because we're not musical people. As proud parents, they are happy to share Noah's accomplishments. This is his first major competition. Um, we're excited about this particular one because uh, he, there was two parts to this competition. He won his age division, but this one is for the overall where he competed against all of the other uh, students up to age 18. So I'm very excited that he won this one. Uh, what's interesting also about this particular uh, competition was that when he arrived at the finals recital, the program had all of the competitors on there and we noticed that an 18 year old was playing the same piece that he was playing at nine years old. And this is the first competition that he won and we realized at that time that he had a musical gift because the director of the competition came up afterwards and was very uh, excited about the way Noah played and he told us that he was extremely talented. The wall where Noah's awards and trophies are displayed is becoming very crowded. This is an exciting award that Noah won when he was 12 years old. The significance of this is that he had a goal to play in a major symphony at the age of 12. Well, in order to do that, he had to learn a major concerto. And to make a long story short, Noah won the competition and was able to perform with the Tampa Bay Symphony three concerts. And so he achieved his goal at the age of 12. Through his music, he expresses compassion and a deep desire to help others. He has become a powerful supporter of his community. Noah has helped raise money for a local children's hospital and performs there weekly for the enjoyment of patients and staff. I volunteer at a health park hospital in Fort Myers and once a week, every Thursday at four o'clock in the afternoon, I donate my time to the patients in the hospital and they hear the wonderful classical music. Probably the most significant and rewarding concert that Noah has ever done is Noah's concert for the kids. It was an event that raised over $30,000 for the new Golisano's Children's Hospital. It was a, a, just a great way to give back to the community and one that we are very proud to have been able to participate in. This is an incredibly talented um, young man, but at the same time, very warm, very personal, uh, really wonderful human being. I mean, the fact that one of the things that touched me, I knew that he was playing for hospitals as he was, you know, as a kid, for other kids and things like that, for just for the audience. Uh, I think uh, Noah is one of these humans uh, that can contribute so much to our society 
just because he can. He has the ability to connect with people through music, but beyond music. I think he is a, a fantastic uh, young person, and um, I think everyone that will look at him, hear him, there is, will, will hear this joy that he has, his love to the world. And uh, I think we're very lucky to have in the community someone with this uh, virtues. There is a large fan base of loyal supporters who routinely attend his performances. Well, I've seen Noah a, a total today, making 75 times. So this is a special day for me and for, for him, I hope. This was the second concert that I heard him. And he signs his name for me on the programs with a little star. I know he's going to be very famous someday. I think he's already famous. And he's very special to me. After a performance, fans gather to purchase a copy of his CD record and get an autograph from the young star. Do you enjoy the concert? Oh, yes. <laughs> Competitive nature comes into view again when we find that Noah and his parents are avid pickleball players. Noah participated in the 2017 U.S. Open Pickleball Tournament. He medaled at level 5 play, the highest level of competition. He can often be found playing for fun with his dad and the neighbors. I've been playing with Noah since he was eight years old, and uh, he was always a great pickleball player, but every year he gets stronger, faster, and more accurate, and now you'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who hits the ball harder than he does. It's pretty amazing. He's a really talented player. Absolutely. In spite of a very demanding schedule, Noah still finds time to relax in his favorite way, fishing in the lakes and ponds found throughout the area. Got him. Got off. So we see in Noah a young man with considerable talent and potential. With loving parents who themselves have no musical training, but are totally dedicated to his success in every area of life, the central question becomes, how has Noah achieved so much so early in life? Talent is, fortunately I would rather say, talent is not something that goes with the genes necessarily. It, of course, if parents are musically uh, talented or they have musical background, it's kind of easier that their kids will grow up uh, exploring music. If they will follow this path professionally, that's something else. But the fact that the parents are not musically trained 
does not mean they don't have the talent. They might have the talent, but they just never had the chance to explore it. Um, you need somebody to give you this chance and say, oh, why don't you try an instrument? And that's all, uh, also part of the education. I'm, I think that's even more remarkable in, in Noah's uh, life, the fact that they uh, gave him this opportunity to grow up uh, and, and the investment that was done. And I'm talking really emotional and, and physical time to, to dedicate to an instrument. This is something I absolutely appreciate. People often ask us where the musical talent comes from, and our only explanation is that it's a gift from God. Well, we've made many and numerous sacrifices in order for him to be successful. The financial investment that we've made has been incredible, uh, taking him to his weekly lessons, festivals, concerts, master classes, theory lessons. But the time component is the most demanding in the sense that, you know, it's a full-time job. We are constantly uh, trying to provide opportunities for Noah. And because we don't have the musical background, sometimes it's a, a daunting task for us. The most surprising fact or element regarding Noah's ability is how easily he picks up the music, how easily he performs the music and memorizes the music. It's just very easy for him to do so. And that, that's really amazing to see that uh, occur. You know, he has a lot of nerve to perform for people, so. special gift that we know is only God-given because we know you can't practice enough to, you know, you can practice. It's important to practice, but he, he, which he does, but to be able to perform and show feeling and emotion where he's connecting with people. Um, we've seen numerous people, you know, it brings joy to them or they're, you know, there's a smile on their face or or when they're crying because they're going through something and emotionally um, they connect with that so to me that's so touching to see this happening and we know that God's at work and he's using it for his glory definitely a God-given gift that Noah has and as I said before one of his teachers said that he was a, a diamond that just needed to be shaped and that's really what is occurring at this time is Noah's developing he's honing his skills so that his gifts can shine and many people see the, the talent and, and the gift in Noah and have commented that he is very special in that way. And so our job is just to provide opportunities for Noah so that he can develop his gift. And we always told Noah from the very beginning, you know, God has given you a gift and your gift back to God is what you do with it. And so he recognizes the importance of giving back to the community and the audience is who is 
being reached and being touched. And you can see it in some of his concerts where people will come up afterwards and just be completely uh, emotionally attached to the performance. And so I think from that standpoint, Noah gets a, a big reward. Noah Waddell, a young man with a competitive nature and energy, a young man of humility and compassion, a young man standing at the edge of greatness, ready and eager to become one of the world's great performers on piano, a young man with a gift. It has been a challenging experience along the way. There have been many roadblocks that we had to overcome, but at the end of the day, he is maturing into a young musician that um, we don't really know what will occur in the future, but he's already had some wonderful experiences and he's been able to enjoy uh, many aspects of the musical industry. Uh, there are many roads and paths to becoming successful in music and we just hope that Noah will continue to develop and appreciate those opportunities that are given to him. It's been fun, it's been challenging, and we hope that in the future it continues to be bright for him. Classical music is a very challenging type of music for a pianist. Of course, we'd love for him to keep pursuing that avenue. Um, so, and we would be thrilled if he did. stay part of the Salvatore the Symphony family for the years to come. I think it's important for him and for us to have this uh, relationship and to meet every once in a while in his career and to see, to take it from a different point. I definitely would like to see him back with the symphony, with me or with any other conductor. God-given gift and I enjoy it and I hope other people enjoy it as well. Thank you.